Hey yo, welcome back to another episode of Worldwide Reviews, where today I'm finally getting to another fucking food review that I've been wanting to do for a while. Hopefully I haven't waited too long, because maybe it went stale, maybe it went bad, I don't even know. But you know, I'm a fan of Pringles, if you've seen the last Pringles video, the, the chili limon one, I love some nice Pringles. And I was in CVS like three weeks ago. I don't know the shelf life of Pringles or something. I didn't open it, so I'm hoping they're they're not stale. But you know, I was in CVS picking up shampoo, maybe, I don't remember. Saw these, I was like, I never had this flavor before, so I thought I'd try them, give them a review, except I procrastinated really hard and never got around to trying them. So doing that now. What flavor is it, you may ask? It's uh fire roasted jalapeno uh i don't really eat jalapenos i eat chili i eat lime don't eat jalapenos so also this one's wavy i don't know what the point of the waviness is i don't know what the point of the waviness is maybe it captures the flavor better because they got like the nooks maybe they put like nooks to capture the flavor you know i don't, I don't know how that works I don't, i'm not a food science major um you're a food science major for some reason leave a like but um you know yeah i'm i'm wondering my main question my main concern is it going to be spicier than the chili limon ones because those ones those ones give you a nice give you a nice kick right at first got my hair sucks today i didn't put in any hair product last night give you a nice kick right at first and then they they soothe out, so it's just like flavor afterwards with the chili and the lime. And they don't they don't really kill you after that. But I'm worried these ones are gonna really get me. They're gonna get my 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 white tongue, my white taste buds, and they're gonna really send me over the edge to an early grave. Um, con sabor natural y artificial. Anyway, I'm gonna try these out. I'm not really doing the ASMR shit right now. I don't feel like it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's been that. I'm testing things out. I'm trying to keep the channel diverse, see what gets me the most views. Right now, I'm trying reaction videos. Fuck. <laughs> see how that goes. Ooh, they they smell exactly like the chili on ones. They look different, but they smell almost identical. To the other ones. Did they just repackage these and change it? Is there a point to doing that? I guess we'll find out. I mean, you can see they're actually it's a bit of a wave. It's not too intense, you know. Maybe the wave makes you they can fit more Pringles in a can if it's wavy. Not a geometry major. Alright. They're a little cracked. They didn't come that way. I just been dropping the shit a lot because I put it on like a bed and then hit it and put it on a shelf and then fell. If they're cracked, they probably didn't come that way. So we're gonna try this this chip. Where's this camera? Yeah. Solid chip right there. It's not stale. Too good. Okay, I don't want to jinx myself because last video I had print spicy Pringles. I said it was fine and then they started dying. But I'm fine right now. It's weird because, like, jalapeno should be spicier than chili. You know, chili is like a range of spice. You know, you can have non spicy chili if you want. I mean, chili with no spice for like your old ass grandma or whatever. My grandma sometimes think pepperoni is too spicy. You put a little spice in that, she's out. Mm -hmm. She's done. She doesn't want to eat it. Make super spicy chili, you know. It's stuck in my teeth. This is not me like contemplating. I'm just trying to get. On. I have like my teeth are designed so food gets stuck in it very easily. Um, it tastes good. It tastes familiar. Like I'm trying to put my finger on it. There's like another spicy snack chip out there that tastes exactly like it. Maybe it's a Pringle flavor. I'm trying to. 
It's probably one of those, like, Trader Joe chips. That's, I figured. It tastes like, not even, like, all but it tastes like the barbecue. Like, fucking, it tastes like barbecue lays. But, like, with a little spice in it. Which is weird, because I feel like that's what chili would be. Barbecue with spice. You know? Although that one had lime. It tasted more like lime with spice than it did, like, chili, I guess. I guess the chili powder was what they meant by chili, but, you know, it was, like, chili with, like, beans and shit. This, this, it tastes like, <laughs> it tastes like barbecue with spice. I mean, you know, I'm, I was, people don't eat jalapenos for the flavor, they eat it for the spice, you know? I can't tell you what a fuck, dude, what a jalapeno would taste like. I can tell you how spicy it is. I don't know, I don't know what it tastes like, though, you know? The flavor. Well. So, you know, they're not gonna be like, it, the flavor is jalapeno, and it'll be like, the spice is jalapeno. The spice is not even jalapeno. I've eaten a banana pepper before, whole, by mistake. I didn't think it'd be as spicy as it was. I put it in a pastrami sandwich, and I wanted to die. I've been to China. I've had Chinese cuisine. I've been to Chengdu. I've had any meal in Chengdu before. It's spicy as fuck. Jalapeno, jalapenos there are like bitch food. You know, <laughs> give them to like kids with no teeth. This is just like not even a challenge to eat. There's so little. Like, there's a tingle. Right in the back here. Like, right here. Right, right here. That, there's a tingle right there. And a little bit on my tongue, but it's like. You know, hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos are spicier than this. Come on. Maybe it's because I left it out. You know, I don't know, but I had the I had the the seal on, so it shouldn't have like gone that bad or anything. I don't even know what the what the way I haven't even noticed the waviness really. I I do think actually the waviness the wavy makes the texture better. Like that first initial bite, the wavy adds more texture. Um, but just like on a spice level, yeah, I already made this a seven minute video. On a spice level, it's weak. It's like a solid one to two out of ten for spice. If you eat spice all the time, if you're if you're eating, if you're a more cultural person than I am, and you eat spicy food all the time top notch spice if you're from like Chengdu or some such Se Sichuan province or deep in the heart of Mexico you might not you might not even pick up the spice on this you might just assume it's barbecue and that it lie to you on the can <laughs> you know I know it's hard to make artificial flavor and you got to reuse a lot of stuff I've had maple syrup and pancake flavored chips before and that's just, just barbecue with more sugar in it you know this is just barbecue with spice in it basically you know what i feel like the chili one should be but, you know that's my two cents so i mean does it taste bad no it tastes pretty good is it spicy not really but you know if you're not good at handling spice you still want a little kick could be for you you know it's less spicy than the chili limon one so if you maybe want to take baby steps to build up your spice tolerance can't handle hot cheetos yet start here baby steps these are the baby steps the spicy snacks but it's like it's kind of like okay like it's good but it's sort of the worst of both worlds in terms of Pringles flavors. Because if you wanted a barbecue chip, you could get Pringles barbecue. Because this is, this is basically, I don't know if it's just me, but this tastes like barbecue. It tastes like barbecue, but not a lot of barbecue. Just a little bit, because they're balancing the flavors out, because it's not the only thing going for this. And you can't make it taste exactly like barbecue, because then you're just like, this is just barbecue Pringle. And because there's no barbecue like powder on it, so you know, it'd look weird if it was brown. But if 
you want barbecue, barbecue. If you wanted a spicy Pringle, you would eat the chili limon ones. What is this? It's half barbecue, half spicy. So it's not as spicy as the other ones where, you know, that one's enjoyable too. It's not like it kills you. And if you want barbecue, I don't really like barbecue chips. If you wanted barbecue, get barbecue. It's like not enough of either of them, you know? So, well, it's not a bad chip. It's really lacking the potential. You threw it away, really, you know? Pringles dropped the ball on this one, in my opinion. Not to mention, they've been running all that ad campaign shit for, like, stacking the Pringles flavors and stuff, which is creative. I don't know anyone that does that. I don't know anyone that actually stacks Pringles and makes sandwiches of Pringle flavors. But... You know, it's creative. You know, they're trying to make stuff happen. But if you have a wavy Pringle and every other Pringle is flat, the, the, I don't know, you know, I got an A in, in geometry, but that was ninth grade, so forgive me if I'm wrong, but that's not going to work. You know, you got the wave and the flat, they're not going to line up correctly. You know? So, like. It's a standalone, disappointing, you know, lack of potential Pringle. Five out of ten, you know. It's not bad. It, if it tasted bad, I'd hate it. It doesn't taste bad. I'll probably eat these in, like, a past time if I just, like, need a little top off for, like, my stomach or whatever. But, like, it's just, like, it's a boring chip. It's not spicy, really. It's not barbecue-y, tangy, really. It's, just, like... It's not as salty as original. Just, uh, it's a lot lost potential on a Pringle chip. And you can't even stack the other. Not like I do that, but you can't even stack it with the other ones, you know, because it's wavy. And I don't know why they put the fucking wavy description. What do you do with it? Does the wavy add anything, you know? Texturally, you know, maybe it's a little better, but it's not enough to really blow my mind or care about it. I only really noticed it once I brought it up to myself and tried to make a mental note of it. And, you know, it doesn't, I don't know if the, the capture the flavor better because it's wavy. You know, they don't really explain what does being wavy have to do with anything. So I guess, like, I don't know, yeah, it's a 5 out of 10 Pringle, you know. First bad review of the channel these bad boys nah, I don't mean that in a good way <laughs> they're disappointing boys um, yeah I don't know if you want a spicy chip get chili lumon if you want a tangy chip get barbecue <laughs> see you I'll get on to you in the next review like comment subscribe and uh, watch more of my videos leave a recommendation what should I review next man I'll get around to that shit who knows anyway